What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Uh, by a popular fucking demand. Beautiful day in my city. It's nice. The sky's clear. It's sunny. But it's cold as shit. It's 30 degrees outside, below freezing. This morning when I woke up, it said it felt like 8. Look at this truck. He about to crash to the back of this truck. Dumbass. Stop speaking. Anyway, see all this traffic. I just came from an appointment. You know, I love my city and I hate my city. Came from a fucking appointment. You gotta pay to park. So I paid the meter. I go to the meter, put my card in. For two hours, they wanted $10.75. For two hours. But I was like, fuck it. I'll do it. Pay the 1075, go into the office, come back out, just a few minutes, not too long. I'd say it was about 15 minutes past the time, which is long enough. And what do I see? Motherfucking parking ticket. Motherfuckers. Fuck, man. How much that shit? Shit pisses me off, yo. Fucking, what is that? $65 Abbas Fuck you Abbas $65 So I paid ten seventy five in the meter Still got a $65 ticket For being 10 minutes late So that's basically $75 That I just paid To park in Midtown Manhattan To go to my appointment I should have just took the fucking train But it's cold And my wife didn't feel like take the train because it was cold and she's from the islands and she hates the cold and she wanted to take the car we could get parking we paid a meter we'll be okay but the fucking shit lasted too long 75 dollars wow i guess i'm gonna go drown my sorrows at a happy hour later on today when i pick up from work but anyway today's my day off this beautiful gorgeous day just wish it was warmer but it's nice and sunny sky's clear and i'm about to take the car to the car wash yes I'm taking her to get washed yes i take my car through automatic car washes i live in manhattan i live in an apartment i have a one bedroom apartment i don't have a house i don't have a garage so i can't do hand washes i'm not hand washing my shit parked on the street i'm not gonna park up right here open the johnny pump the fire hydrant and, and hand wash my shit plus it's cold as fuck outside i don't have a heated garage i've been to a couple of the hand wash spots here in the city and they're horrible to me like the car doesn't look that good yes yeah, a hand wash but the car doesn't look that good but this place it's a machine wash but they, they do a pretty good job they do a pretty good job Look at this green Audi. I like that green. See that shit? New York Giants, G-Men, baby, big blue, I see it. Yeah, I like that green. Look at that, RS5. Yeah, got this fucking ticket. Pissing me off, man, I swear to God. Not much money to say they're collecting me in fucking tickets. Let them do the thing and get out. Uh, extreme, yeah. Extreme protection. Thank you. So how much is this? This is uh. First half car wash, $25.99. Sometimes I come here, I get that deluxe package. They do a nice, good wax, clean, decent price. They do a pretty good job, so I don't complain. Get it clean real quick, nice and Anyway, yeah, uh, my 
video that I put up yesterday talking about my wife wanting to get the Jeep and get rid of the charger. She's still adamant about it. I talked to this morning about it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do it uh, probably around the end of next month. Because I just got this car and I'm only on my what? I'm on my third payment. So I'm going to take a hit. When I say a hit, I'm going to take a big hit. Because I took it, I didn't lease it, I financed it. And I'm only on my third payment, and you know that shit depreciates like crazy. So I'm gonna take like a seven thousand dollar hit trading this car in. But she wants the Jeep. So we'll probably do that the uh, middle or end of February. We'll be going to look trying to find us a good deal on an SRT. I want a track hawk. She says it's too expensive. But if I could find a freaking track hawk that's, you know, in a, about 80 grand, high 70s, so I might as well, because you're paying the same price for a regular SRT. So I'll be doing research and looking. These guys do a pretty good job. <laughs> Some people are asking like, why didn't I just get a track hook in the first place? Well, I traded the Jeep SRT in one because I missed the charger, miss how fun it is. Real wheel driving experience is a lot different than uh, all wheel drive experience. It's a lot, the charger's just fucking fun. You press the gas, when you hear that exhaust, that acceleration, shit pushes you back. It feels different, it feels 100% different than pressing the gas on the Jeep SRT. Yeah, it's quick but it's not fast. If you understand what I'm saying, the Jeep SRT is quick, but it's not fast. This shit is fast. Why did they stop the goddamn wash? Who fucked up? Why is it stopped? Somebody messed up? Oh, the pickup truck. <laughs> His wheel's too big. But yeah, one, number one, the shit was, uh, it wasn't as fun as my old Charger. And number two, I purchased the Jeep SRT right before they changed the front face here. And then I started seeing the 17s and up and that front face here looks mean compared to the old one. It looks, you know, the old one is timid. That new front face here is mean. And I was like, damn. You know, so I, I fell out of love with the Jeep. So I traded in for the Charger, you know. Now I won't mind getting a uh, a new Jeep or a new Tricor because it'll have new front fascia, it'll look mean. And I want the Tricor because it's, you know, that one at least I'll feel the power. You really don't feel the power with the Jeep SRT because it's, it's heavy. It's heavy, top heavy. It doesn't pull as hard, you know. It's not the same experience. I test drove a track hawk one one time at Security Dodge. You feel that. You press, the, put the pedal to the metal on that, and that shit, it goes. It gets up and goes. So that's why I want the track hawk. She doesn't care for it. If it was up to her, we'll have a motherfucking what is that new shit? The compass. We'll have a damn Jeep compass. Well, you know, as they say, happy wife, happy life. But as I like to say, happy spouse, happy house. Happy spouse, happy motherfucking house. You know, that's gender neutral. That works both ways. Happy spouse, happy house. Both people happy. Then the whole house is happy. Not just the wife. Why you want to have a happy wife and a miserable husband? You know? Happy spouse, happy house. That's how I say it. I got the rain X, extreme protection. I got all that going on there. I ain't gonna pay for it.
Good thing, man. Fucking Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan was the truth. Puppies win that one Super Bowl. His ass was stuck around. Yep, yep. So, it's my day off. I'm gonna get the car wash now. After this, I'm gonna go get a quick haircut. By that time, it should be time for me to go back downtown, pick up the wife, <sighs> go to happy hour somewhere. And I'm gonna be the only one drinking because she's pregnant. So. Oh yeah, that's another reason why she wants the Jeep. Not just because she wants it, but because she's pregnant. If it was just because she wants it, you know, I would fight that. But since she's pregnant, you know, that's 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 a real viable reason to get the SUV. Because we're gonna have a child. She's about 10 weeks so far. Because of that, it's like, okay, yeah. The thing is, I found out that she was pregnant one week after I bought this charger. One week after I bought it, we found out that she was pregnant. Ain't that some shit. <laughs> uh. Exactly. One week after I bought a charger, we find out she's pregnant. That's crazy. If she wasn't pregnant, she probably, she probably would be a little more uh, forgiving. She probably wouldn't care much. She probably, we'd probably rock out the charger for a while. Until she became pregnant, then she'll be more, oh, let's go back and get another Jeep. But, nope. She's like, now. You gotta get that shit now. This place, First Ave Car Wash. It's in Harlem, East Harlem. First Ave in, uh, what is this, 109? Do a pretty good job, pretty good job. If I say so myself. I love these racing stripes, these just black on black racing stripes. I think it's good. I think they did a good job. No swirls yet, thank God. She hasn't gotten any swirls on it yet. Spit 
out. Slick. This ram making all that noise. Look, you got a pickup truck. Stop trying to go fast. Where you going in a pickup truck? You got a fucking pickup truck trying to spin out and rev out. You got a goddamn pickup truck. Not a race car, bro. You know I hate that. I hate when I'm driving in a fucking, I don't know, a Honda Accord or a fucking Prius or some bullshit fucking pulls up next to me or tries to be all fast, cut me off. Then he want to race you. Like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to race me in a Honda Accord? Why are you trying to race me in a Toyota Prius? Why are you trying to race me in anything? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you think that you're a good good driver. I don't know what I don't know what goes through these people head. They they on a the highway they'll cut you off, speed by you, slow down, rev the engine. Like they had like they got any wins. Like do you not understand what's under this hood? Do you not understand what I will do to you? And then I just hurt their feelings. I drive up to them. I pull up alongside them. I drive their speed for a little bit, look at them. Then I just pull off on their ass. And then they catch up. Then they try to go past me again. Then I just pull off on their ass again. Then they catch up. Then they give the thumbs up. Like, yeah, what the fuck you thought you was going to do in your goddamn Honda Accord? Trying to race me. It's crazy, man. I hate when that happens. I hate, hate, hate it. Cause now I gotta embarrass their ass and risk getting myself a ticket. Cause my pride in my balls tells me to embarrass them. But yeah, I'm gonna miss this car. Shit, I missed the car already, man. You hear that? Can you hear the exhaust? I don't know if you can hear it. But it's visceral. That's a good word to put it, visceral. It's a, it's, a, it's a visceral feeling. You don't get that in the Jeep. You press on the Jeep, the shit's like, hmm. It just pulls off, hmm. Like a regular ass, you barely hear the exhaust. You barely feel the power because of the all-wheel drive. It's just more practical. It's practical with power. So if you're a family man and you still want some power, but a lot of practicality or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, the Jeep is, but it's not as visceral as driving this Charger. But uh, that's about it for this video. Got a fucking ticket that I'm not gonna pay. Now I'm gonna pay it, I'm lying. I pay my tickets. I don't know, I'm gonna try to do more videos. I work a lot, fellas and ladies. I work, I work, work, work. I usually work six days a week. Yeah, I don't be having a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. You know, I'm just an enthusiast. I drive my car, I like to drive it around and enjoy it. I don't do mods, I don't race, I don't do a lot of things. So I don't have a lot of content to give you guys besides me rambling. So I guess I'll just be doing these Scat Pack Chronicles for the foreseeable future until I get the Jeep or the until I get the SRT of the track hawk then it'll be the track hawk or Jeep SRT Chronicles but till then I'll see y'all later I'll see y'all later oh, look at that I got another one right there but he got the 245s he got the 245s you don't have the 275s. That's my barber. Well, that's my barber's shop. But that's not my particular barber's car. That's the shop owner's car. You got a scat pack. Black interior. You don't have the dynamics package. That's maximum steel, I think the color is. But it looks good. Looks good. Looking good, brother. Looking good. Now I'm about to park up next to him. Go get this cut. All right, fellas and ladies and fucking non-binary gender, whatever the fuck you are. See y'all next video.